hello guys welcome to surebit success so the, this video is on quick sort as you are in the chapter divide and conquer so this is one of the application of divide and conquer so let's come up with few basic points that quick sort is an in place algorithm that it that means it does not take any extra space more than log n it is one of the best practical sorting algorithm and it is also highly efficient in this we have to done a partition and partition partition is done in such a way that all the elements which are smaller than the pivot will be at the left position and all elements which are greater than the pivot element will be on the right position as we know that in merge sort what we have to do we have to merge in the end but there is no need to merge the result in the end because we are partitioning in an intelligent way this algorithm takes constant time better than merge sort as there is no combining that means there is no combination in the end so let's understand the partition algorithm first it will be used in the quick sort algorithm so it is one of the basic algorithm of partition for quick sort we have just named it partition there will be three things a it will be an array a be the starting address and q be the last address or the last element address the algorithm the time complexity of this algorithm will be big of on in every case so let's start it here what we do we will do we will select the pivot element you can select any of the element as pivot element it might be the starting element it might be the last element it totally depends on you i i will be taking i will be taking this first element as pivot element in the next example so let's stand on the, that basis x will be equal to a of p whatever the first address the element on that location will be saved into as then i will be saved to the p when then we have to check the loop and we have to place j next to p next to the pivot element we have to check that is array is more or not that is j is less than is equal to q that means j is less than equal to the last address then we have to solve it and increment it solve it and increment till the loop in the end we have to swap the pivot element with the ith position value and then we have to return the i so let's start with this what we have to do is we have an array it will be what it will be let's name it 1 2 3 4 5 6 So there are totally ten elements. So for these ten elements, what will be p? P will be the first one, and q will be the last one. So firstly, store the a of p. That is a of p. That is a of one is fifty. Store the fifty in the x. That is it will be stored as pivot pivot element. That is it is x. now we have to save it as p p value has to be save it as i now we have to check for the loop we have to place j will be p plus 1 p is what 1 plus 1 is what 2 so it will be what j now we have to che check that j is less than equal to q yes now in this condition what we will check is we have to check that this condition is true whenever element is smaller than pivot is found pivot is 50 if the element is smaller than 50 then we have to solve it otherwise we have to skip is it less than pivot element no skip is this less than pivot element no skip is this element pivot element no skip so this one is sorry this one is the element which is smaller than a pivot element then what we have to do we have to increment the i that is i has to be incremented i will be 2 now then we have to swap the value of ai with aj what is the value here 80 what is the value here 25 we just have to swap the values after swapping increment the j again check it is smaller yes it is smaller so again we have to increment i so i will be here 
and now we have to skip these two value so it will be 48 and it will be 100 now again we have to check so this will be j now for this j it is also smaller than 50 so now again we have to increment the value and we have to swap the value now have we have to check here is it smaller no skip is it smaller no is it smaller yes it is smaller so now we have what we have to do we have to increment the ith value and replace it with the gth value that is 17 has to be here and 100 has to be here so in this way we have to do for now we have to check again for the 53 so 53 will be greater than so that means no change so now if we so in the end after checking the last value what we have to do we have to swap the pivot element with the ith element pivot element is what 50 ith element is what 17 so not what we have to do we have to just swap the value 17 will be here and 50 will be here so what it will be it will be 17 25 48 18 50 80 150 60 153 now you can see this is the pivot element all these elements will be smaller than pivot yes these are greater than this is what i have written here so now understand the quick shot algorithm quickly in this quick shot algorithm this one is quick shot a is an array p is starting address q is last start we have to firstly check for the small condition if there is only one element it is for one element if there is only one element what we need to do we cannot sort it we just have to return the element and if there are more than one, one element firstly we have to solve partition algorithm it will take order of one then we have to check from then we have to apply the quick sort from starting to m minus 1 starting to m minus 1 because the mth position will be fixed it cannot be changed it will it the that position will be already sorted apply quick sort from starting to 1 less than midpoint and here next to the mid to last and finally we have to return the array in the similar way the whole quick shot goes on let's and let's understand the time complexity order of one in case of small problem that is if n is equal to one what way it will take constant time so constant was nothing but order of one for if n is greater than one it will be become n it will be order of n and quick shot it will be what we have to check from p to m that is we can write it as m minus p whatever the elements would be in the p because if we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 these much elements let it one is this one is p this one is m so what we have to do we have to check in these elements so let's therefore it will be m minus p that means 4 minus 1 that means we have to check the three elements so this one so we can write it as this we can write it as q minus 1 that is also q minus m because we have to take it from here so it will be nothing but same thing and finally we have to return the value so there will be two cases it is the generalized equation so there will be two cases one is for average and best case and another one is for worst case so in this what we have to do is we have to take care if the array is divided in such that half part is on one side and half part is on another side then it will be the best and average case what it will we have it, it will be divided in the equal parts so it will be 2 t n by 2 plus n you can solve it using the master theorem you have to sort solve n log b base a what is the value n log 2 base 2 it will be nothing but n n to the n is same so what will be the answer we have to multiply it with log n so 
and log n and in this case what will be the answer because we have taken n here and minus 1 here so if we place the value n minus 1 again and again in place of n so what we will have we will have a series like n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus and so on till 1 so how we can solve it we can solve it using n 2 n plus 1 by 2 so what it will be it will be nothing but order of n square so this is for best case best and average case this is one is for worst case you can also understand it with the help of recursive tree what we are doing we are dividing in equal parts therefore we have to go to the log n we have to go till log n and so therefore it will be n log n and here we have to move on one side and so on therefore the height will be what n and we have to visit n minus one element so we this way we can solve it using n into n minus 1 by 2 which is nothing but order of n square thank you for watching the video please like comment subscribe and share and please click on the notification icon also so that you can have a notification whenever i am uploading a new video thank you very much have a good day